Hi, so this is the Firefly 6S and I'm going to go over some of the modes and options. So let me go ahead and turn it on. And there's buttons in the side here so you could see. So this is the size option and if I push the top button here you go into the modes and now I could scroll you can see the first option is 1080p 60 frames 30 frames here is the 720 and it's 120 frames per second now this is the way you shoot the slow motion is with the 120 frames per second but it doesn't just shoot slow motion by itself you're gonna have to do some video editing to actually get the slow motion to show up now this is the VGAs which is uh, not that very useful so this is the 4k and once again the 4k is interpolated even though it says 4k at 24 frames per second it's not a true 4k the 2.5k is really what this camera supports and that goes at 30 frames per second now I do have the firmware 2.6 on here and this is the 1440p at 30 frames a second so those are the options for the size. Now I'm going to go back out, pushing the mode button at the top, and scroll. This is the time lapse, and you can see it's off here. I could choose 0.5 seconds, 1 second, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds for the time lapse, 30 seconds even. And right now I have it off. Now this is the cycle, so if it's recording, whether it records at 5 minute segments for the files. And what this is useful for is if you're using it as a dash cam for example. Now one thing I do want to mention is I have an SD card in here. So let me pop this out. So my SD card is a 128, even though it says it supports just a... 64 gigabyte. I was able to get my SanDisk 128 gigabyte here uh, to work. I didn't have to do anything special to make it work. Um, it just worked out of the box so it does support a 128 gigabyte. And let me turn it back on. Go through the modes again. So size, time lapse, like cyclic record audio on or off set on here auto auto record not sure what this is actually can't speak to it I'll have to look at the manual WDR now it does recommend that not to use this in daylight and to use this option more uh, when you're so this is just an on off and this is the size of the camera shots so it's set at 16 megapixel has 8 megapixel 5 megapixel and this is burst mode and this is again for the camera interval So it has 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. And once again, this is for the camera. ISO, so you could set auto, 100 ISO, 400, 1600. Have it at auto. Sharpness, low, medium, high. color so it's set at vivid here EV 
low, medium, high. Metering, average, center, and spot. Data rate, low or high. I set it at high because I do have a large video card in here. Date stamping, whether you want it on and off on the video itself. TV mode, PAL or NSC. Go back here, info. EV metering, data rate, TV mode. And this is the Hertz. 50 Hertz, 60 Hertz. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Remove fisheye, so you have a choice of on and off. Gyro, I have it off. I'm going to turn it on here. And you notice when you change the option, it blinks at the bottom to let you know that the option changed. Wi-Fi, I have it turned off because I heard it's uh, not very useful. It's a delay and it heats up the battery a lot. Power off by USB. So if you have it plugged into USB, whether it's uh, automatically powered off. Angle, you could choose large or middle. And you could format the card. Now it doesn't give you an indicator that it's formatting, but um, I, I guess you just have to wait a little bit when you're formatting the card. Uh, reset these to default options, auto power off, so whether it auto powers off when there's no activity in three minutes, and notice this is firmware version 2.6, and that's really it, That that is really all the options there is, and um, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.